Absolutely. What are your feelings about the financial sector, especially investing in banks? Are there any banks that you're feeling bullish about? Okay, as crazy as it may seem, I actually feel pretty bullish about First Republic. You know, I think First Republic has been a, a victim of guilt by association, if you will. Um, I do not think there is a systemic problem as it relates to banks. Uh, they got hammered, as you can see there on the screen. Uh, I like the idea of picking up a company when it's 80% off. This kind of reminds me of Exxon when, uh, when COVID hit. Really? That's an interesting take there, Lee. So one other thing yep. I want to ask you about is the Fed meeting next week. Uh, we're looking at the mm -hmm. CME Fed Watch tool. It says an 80% chance of a quarter basis point hike, 20% chance of no hike. Where do you see the action potentially going when it comes to a rate hike? And how do you see that influence in the market after all this turmoil and volatility this week? You know, so I think the turmoil and volatility of this week is probably resulted in shifting to that 25 basis point hike. Uh, I think when Fed Chair Powell mentioned about a week ago, uh, that uh, a 50 basis point hike was in the cards. Uh, I think that was the case, and I don't think that would have come out of his mouth if that wasn't where they were going. But then the uh, the activity around Silicon Valley Bank and the turmoil that we've experienced in the last four or five days, I'm in that camp that thinks uh, we're still going to have a rate hike, uh, but probably 25 basis points is more likely. But even then, that's a sign of two things, in my opinion. One, uh, the Fed does not believe that there is a big problem brewing uh, that's systemic in nature, because otherwise it would have either been, hey, listen, we're more likely to have a zero or there'd be some scuttlebutt around a, uh, a rate reduction, but a rate reduction isn't necessary. And secondarily, the economy is still relatively healthy, even though I think the, the pace and the rhythm, if you will, of some of the layoffs we're hearing about uh, is quickening a bit. Yeah, I think everybody's agreeing that the economy is overall healthy. In fact, the Fed's trying to cool it off. They're not trying to speed it up. So let me just take the other side of the argument with what you have on the 25 basis point hike. Isn't what we're seeing in the banking sector, isn't that already going to slow down economic activity in the United States? Won't loans be harder to get? Won't they be more expensive? And won't that have the same effect as this quarter basis point hike? I don't know that it'll have the same effect, uh, but I think we're in an environment where we're going to continue to see other uh, rate hikes. Uh, they're going to continue through the year. I agree with you that it's going to have an effect of helping to cool down the system. Uh, I just think that they underestimated how strong the U.S. economy was. And so, uh, you know, the math might not be there, but the effect of the, the loan tightening uh, regime as a result of this uh, might be needed in addition to a 25 basis point rate hike. So All maybe right. the two of them combined get you to the 50. All right. You, you mentioned First Republic, maybe a contrarian opinion. Uh, are there other mm -hmm. areas where you're looking for opportunities or specific stocks that you see as an opportunity today? Uh, today, you know, you take a look around. Uh, one thing that's interesting, uh, I guess it was in Hamburg, uh, Volkswagen uh, introduced a, a concept car uh, that they think will come in at about $25,000, $26,000 U.S., so finally an EV for the masses, which I think is really appropriate for uh, the car that was basically the people's wagon, if you will. So I do find that as an interesting option. It uh, remains to be seen whether or not they'll take significant market share away from Tesla, but I, I think that's an interesting option. Really, so you're looking at the auto space for opportunities. Any other areas? I mean, tech obviously outperforming this week, the NASDAQ up 5%. Anything else in tech that you're watching? Uh, tech is outperforming this week, but I think we're still going to have some volatility, so I'm not really, really ready to jump in, if you will, to the tech sector. Uh, any more than uh, we had before as far as a broadly diversified uh, fund uh, for most of our clients.